Captions.ai created a brand new workflow space called Mirage Studio. I'm testing it today. I gotta tell you guys, it's pretty good. Hey, um, I'm Brian, uh, co-host of the Creative AI Show, where we're two creative guys talking AI, putting videos up on YouTube every day of fun stuff like this, so you can use it for your creative flows. Uh, check it out, what, you, what do you think? Hey, I'm Brian Scott. Ross Sillers and I co-host the Creative AI Show, where we show you how to supercharge your creativity with AI tools. I'm using Mirage Studio from Captions AI right now to make this video, and that's exactly what we teach. Ready to level up? Check out the Creative AI Show. All in all, guys, not bad. Now, when it first starts, I know I had to talk really fast. I only had 15 seconds to say what I needed to say, and I had a little script here. But, um, you know, when it first started, I was like, eh, but by the time he gets talking for a little bit, or he or me gets talking for a little bit, it's, it's not bad. Let me just show you one more time real quick. Hey, I'm Brian Scott. Ross Sillers and I co-host the Creative AI Show, where we show you how to supercharge your creativity with AI tools. I'm using Mirage Studio from Captions AI right now to make this video, and that's exactly what we teach. Yeah, not bad. I mean, except for the fact that I think it messed up one of my teeth at the bottom and the selfie that I uploaded, but I'm going to show you guys quickly how to make this. All right, so step back here. Um, I'm actually having to generate another video using my voice right now and another one of the um, avatars, so I'll show you that once I get there. But all right, let's just say, for example, we are going to do a brand new project. I'm going to show you all the directions. Oh, cool. You know what? This one finished right now. Let's see what this guy looks like with my voice. Hey, I'm Brian Scott. Ross Sillers and I co-host the Creative AI Show, where we show you how to supercharge your creativity with AI tools. I'm using Mirage Studio from Captions AI right now to make this video, and that's exactly what we teach. Ready to level up? Check out the Creative AI Show. Pretty good. Hey, I'm Brian it's Scott. It's a little weird Ross Sillers seeing my voice on another person. I like how they have him like talk with his hands to give it a little more natural feeling to it. So. All in all, pretty good. I used to be able to do these little talking videos with captions before, but Mirage Studio's quality so far is tremendously better. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, um, let's show you guys quickly how to make a brand new one of these from the top. So um, when it comes to the audio for the uh, the clip, you can either upload um, you know, an actual audio file, so say a speech or something that you said. You can go straight in and record, and that's what I did on this one um, before where I was talking, is I had a little script that I made over here on Claude. I tried to make it short and sweet so he stayed under that 15 second rule. If you're going to go over 15 seconds, it's like $50 a month. So that's one of the things to factor here. Is it worth it or are there other tools that maybe could do it cheaper? I'm at the $10 a month um, world for captions and it's using some of my credits from that, you know, down here in the corner. Um, the other thing that I think is really cool is you can actually generate your own voice clone. So what I mean by that is say that script that I had from Claude, I put it in here. It's about 15 seconds. Now we've got our own pre-established voices in here but you can create a voice clone. So you can record yourself talking for 30 seconds with energy and clarity, minimal outside noise, and you get started right there. That way it can actually save in your voice and then when you put in a script, you don't have to read it again and do this record function to try to get the script just right. It understands how your voice sounds, feels, the timbre of it. Um, and it's able to really get it just right. So it's pretty good. So, all right, so say, um, I'm going to have it generate one real quick here. All right, I am going to use Alexandra, so it's actually going to be a girl's voice, which is just fine. Um, it's generating the audio. So while it's doing that, I just want to kind of go over some of the other things in here. So um, there is a pretty good actor library. You see I uploaded my selfie, so it actually put me in as the actor library. There are so many to choose from. Like you get to the bottom, you think you're done, and then it just generates more. So, you know, whether you're trying to make videos of all sorts of different demographics across the board, they have every type of person in here, um, or you're just trying to get creative or funny with it. There's so many options in here. So I think that's pretty cool. So, all right, um, let's get back to that new project that I was working on. All right, so it went way longer. It didn't read nearly as fast as me, so it stopped at 15 seconds here out of 22, but that's fine. I'm going to continue that. Um, so I'll press continue here. And then this is the next step. It's really simple. This is just where we get to choose which actress or actor is going to read it. Now, because the girl's voice, let's choose a girl. So let's choose her. You get five different looks of kind of how she's sitting. I want to see if she talks with her hands again. So I'm going to go with this one right here. And I'm going to use that actor and I'm going to generate that video. So one of the other drawbacks that I think of this thus far that I'm a little bit frustrated with is just the amount of time it takes to generate these videos. And I know that we're, this is like crazy technology and, you know, we didn't even have this stuff years ago but now that the technology exists I expect it to happen relatively quick so it's going to take about seven minutes for this output and honestly I just yeah I'm not that thrilled about that but through the magic of editing you're going to see it done right about 
now. All right, so it's done. I'm going to press play here, and I want to, I want your opinions. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And, um, you know, right here, you can go through and edit any one of these, so that way the captions are all good. But all right, here. Uh, I know it's going to be a little bit weird that it's uh, she's saying that she's my name, but just look at it from the fact of how well the AI actually is using it to put, give a good performance here. Hey, I'm Brian Scott. Rosh Sillers and I co-host the Creative AI Show, where we show you how to supercharge your creativity with AI tools. I'm using Mirage Studio from Captions. So because she talks so much slower when it generates the voice, I'm not able to get that quick 15 second clip and be able to um, you know, get a lot of information out. So that's why I think when you're doing this, you might be best um, you know, when you go through here to record your own, if, especially if you want something to be in your own voice, because if it's gonna generate it for you, it's gonna be on the slower side. So um, guys, it's pretty easy to make these things. So I'm pretty happy with it. Mirage Studio, I think it's, it was impressive. It's better than the standard um, projects that I've made before here on Captions. Some of these ones, they're not as good. Mirage Studio, definitely a step forward for Captions AI. So guys, um, if you're enjoying the content, check out our podcast every Monday. Rosh and I talk 20, 30 minutes about all the latest updates in the world of AI, using things for you know image generation, video generation, music generation, avatar generation, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we're two creative guys. Guys, talking AI.